he makes me feel as if I'm not seeing anything, as if there's all this magic there. And I, I think I know about magic, but I'm not seeing what he's talking about. I certainly didn't see it at Bethel. I felt Bethel could have been a swap meet in New Jersey. So I had been to the original Woodstock. It did not smack of anything similar to me, even if it was on the same land. I didn't want to stay there. I wanted to go to hear Michael Lang's concert. I have to see if there's something else there. We are stardust. We are golden, and we're going to get ourselves back to the garden. Here we are at Woodstock, where people who didn't pay for it are watching in the rain. Did you feel something spiritual happen there? Not really. It was just kind of like, it was a concert, basically, and like it was like an event, but not really a spiritual happening or anything. Well, here I am at the Woodstock Cemetery probably the uh, largest place in town, looking for spirit, still looking for spirit. Most of the people have not gotten into the festival. It's bringing up a lot of old feelings of should have and could have. It's funny for a girl who actually did get to the first Woodstock, but I've missed something here, and I don't know if my expectations were too great, or if it's just this dilemma with Andy and me in terms of what we're looking for. What is your relationship with Andy? <clears throat> um, we were, uh, he was married and then we were lovers and, and now I think I'm his mother. So it's... Wow, yeah. that's quite a tr she, I don't have a child. <laughs> I think the process that leads back to the garden is hard work and what you believe in and what you like. That's very important. And also being open to discover a new question. I was always questioning the vagaries of life. And usually, my lovebird, Lammy Pie's wisdom was sufficient. But the questions became harder and harder, and Lammy was too busy. He had fallen desperately in love with a finger puppet, so I was forced to conjure up another partner. I dreamed Andy back from Woodstock and gave him the unofficial title of co-investigator. He seemed like a reasonable stand-in for Lammy. He was colorful, sang brightly, and like Lammy, was losing some of his feathers. Actually, though, he was more idealistic than Lammy and me together. And I want everyone to be happy. <laughs> no, I do. I want everyone to be happy. We were both looking for a feeling of home and world. Together, we would go out the deepest ends to find it, asking friends, strangers, and strange friends along the way for directions to the future. Your man Jesus is probably the most misrepresented man in the history of the flipping world, the way what he came to say and how a religion has been set up in his name that is actually offering all the almost opposite values. Sister Gertrude used to beat the living daylights out of me with a piece of um, lino, linoleum, oh, because damn. I couldn't spell. I mean, it's a lousy speller. And uh, for a year she did this. Anyway, during the summer holidays, um, the nuns would go down to Apollo Bay um, in Victoria, which had a ferocious rip in the sea. Anyway, Sister Gertrude, who was, I mean, really looked like one of the Three Stooges, um, mm -hmm. but I can't remember which one. Mo, she, I bet. Uh, she, um, she went out in this rip and she got caught. And I was staying with a girlfriend on a farm when we heard the bad news. And I can remember thinking, thank God. God, she, I mean, she was taken, her body was never recovered. Um, I, can, I can remember thinking, thank God I'll be able to go back to school and it, I might have hands left by the end of next year. You know, the worst thing the rabbi did to me was say there were no more Stella Dora cookies and we had to go to class. I don't know how you guys survived Catholicism. Well, the Goyim do survive. We are survivors. Yeah. Um, even though you guys control the world. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm kidding. I thought it was interesting. Uh, here we are sitting here talking about Jesus, and it's Good Friday. Mm. You know what they say? Don't pass over a Good Friday on Easter Sunday. <laughs> there will be an answer. Let it be. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's all good. It's all love. I mean, that's what I'm all about. You know, let it go and let it be. These papers, these news articles, it's just, it's all rubbish. That's what it is. Really, I mean, you get what you believe. Oh, so, you what you pay for. <laughs> well, that too, but I think belief payment are all the same thing, actually. 
Okay. How much do you charge? Well, if you have a credit card, I'll take <laughs> <laughs> the service charge is exorbitant. You know, after all, I am the way. Do you think we're at the precipice of a spiritual transformation? Instead of the end of the world as, as it's being predicted, do you think that this possibly is a change in the way we, we live our lives? I would like to think that this this is going to be like on the quantum leap level and it's going to happen very, very suddenly and you and I will be around to watch it and say, Hi, look, I never thought I'd see this, but here it is happening. In our Jewish uh, uh, universe of discourse, we call that jump or the anticipation of a jump, the yearning of the coming of Mashiach. The great Hasidic Rebbe, whenever he would hear a little noise on the street, he would look out the window because he thought to himself, maybe the Messiah has come. To that extent. I believe that we're, we're on the brink of meeting the next one. Mm. <laughs> Goodness knows what form it's going to take, but we're told there's going to be a kind of judgment day. You don't think we'll be saved by these galactic people who are supposed to come and teach us how to live? When are they coming? Oh, soon. I heard very quickly. <laughs> they come on Tuesday, and they have uh, they bring a lot of fruit. Then it's okay. But um, well, I'm not going to bank on it. I'm not going <laughs> to make plans around it. Well, because the pleading's going on Tuesday, so <laughs> just work up to Tuesday and then relax. But if they come, then I suppose everyone will uh, have a chat.